Cycling is your sport and Oakley is your brand. I think you should stick around because I have some frames I bet you're going to like. Hello and welcome on my glass, Tyler. I want to talk to you about our top picks in Oakley sunglasses for cycling. There are a lot of great options out there, but all of our top picks are on this table. There are some things that all of these frames share in common. First and foremost, that Prism Tech. All of these are available in the amazing Prism lens technology. If you are unfamiliar with what Prism is and what it can offer, we have done lots of videos on that and you can check those out. We'll put some links in there for you. Unfortunately, not all of these are available in prescription with that Prism technology. I'll talk about what is and what is not. Some other things that all of these have in common is that they are all made out of O matter. That is Oakley's frame material that is very lightweight, extremely durable, and amazing for the sport. They are definitely going to stand up against even aggressive wear and tear for you. And they're going to be so lightweight, you can hardly even feel them on your face. They also all have some degree of unobtainium to speak of. And I'll point out where and how much and what I think about it on each one of these frames. If at the end of this video you are ready to order, don't forget about little old Sport RX and definitely don't forget about our C Better Guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't work for you. Even if I did a great job of explaining what these frames have to offer and what you can expect out of them, and then you try them on and you're just, these aren't the ones for me. That's totally fine. Even if you get them in prescription, you still have 45 days with them. Just call us and we'll take care of you no matter what that means on our end. And also we have opticians who'd love to help you get it right the first time. So definitely reach out to us. Now let's talk about these frames. We're going to be kicking it off with the Plasma. This is a 2021 release. I will say this is the one that I'm probably the most excited about on this table because it is the newest and it is a revival, sort of, of one of my very favorite cycling sunglasses, which was the racing jacket. And it is inspired as such. You can see if you're familiar with the racing jacket in some of the details in the temples and definitely from the front and its aggressive eight base wrap design and some of these aggressive edges. The only thing really I think that you're missing on this is that interchangeability that you had in the racing jacket, but everything else about this frame is amazing. It has still that high RX capability. That was something that I loved about the racing jacket as well, is that they were able to do it in a wide range of prescriptions, even quite strong prescriptions, which is tough to find in something with an eight base wrap lens design. And that is thanks to their OTD Edge 2 technology. And so definitely reach out to our opticians if you have a stronger prescription and you're looking for a good wrap design and they can help you to figure out if it's right for your prescription. There is unobtainium grip all over this guy, a bunch in the temple all along the bottom where it makes contact with your ear and in the nose pad. The nose pad design is an especially soft uh, because of how much meat there is on this of an unobtainium grip. And so it's definitely gonna stay really well on your face, but also nice and comfortable. The SFW on this frame is 132 millimeters, which lands it at a men's medium or women's medium to large. Next up, we have the Sutro Light. This is a favorite of mine cosmetically, aesthetically, because I think it is a really cool shield design that is going to give you all of the benefits and functionality of a good shield, but it is a little more of a retro look. It kind of brings you back to some of those classic Oakley designs when they first came out with those big shields. And I think it's a really neat style. It is a new and improved version of the Sutro, if you're familiar with the Sutro, because it has a semi-rimless design. And so you're getting all of those same benefits that you got in the Sutro plus some because in this case, you have grip on the inside of the temple, which is really nice to keep them on your face. And it does maintain that saddle style nose bridge that I absolutely love. I love the saddle style nose bridge because it's going to give you comfort. The weight is dispersed more evenly across your nose. It's going to give you more contact points, which means that it is going to grip better. And it's just nice and comfortable. It's a really, really good nose pad design, and I'm glad that they kept it on the Sutro Light as well. This is the one that is not at all RXable, unfortunately, but an amazing option. And thanks to that interchangeability, you can have different lenses for it. And while talking lens interchangeability, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that I did a little how-to video on how to swap lenses in this. It is a little different from the original Sutro, so definitely check that out. 
This is going to give you maximum coverage and added eye protection from the sun and any debris that you might encounter on your ride. And when it comes to sizing, the SFW on this guy is 136 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium to large or a women's large. Next up, we have the ever popular Evergreen Flak 2.0 XL, and it's featured here in the exclusive matte carbon colorway, which you can only get at SportRx. I'm always gonna mention that because I love this colorway. The XL in the name refers to extended lens, and you can see how it's cut on the bottom to increase coverage, but it'll avoid hitting your cheekbone. This gives you a little more vertical as well as horizontal coverage in this lens and is the most popular lens shape. But if you have the FLAC 2.0 versus FLAC 2.0 XL, the chassis itself is the same, and it has interchangeable lens functionality, which means you can have multiple sets of lenses, some in prescription and non-prescription, whatever you need. This also actually, while I talk prescription, is available in that OTD Edge 2 extended prescription range as well. Again, our opticians are a great resource for figuring out if your prescription is right for it, but this is an amazing all around sport frame, probably the most versatile on this table, and I recommend it all the time. I would be shocked if you didn't love it. This frame is actually a part of a family of frames, so if you are looking for a different size, and I'll get into size on this guy in just a moment, there is kind of a small to medium size and even an extra small version. The small to medium is the Half Jacket 2.0, and then the Flak XS is the extra small size. You can check those out as well. We'll put some links for you to check out. The SFW on this frame is 135 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium to large or a women's large. I would say this is the closest frame you can get to a one size fits most. It is very versatile and fit. Keep that in mind. Next up is the Jawbreaker, which is an Oakley classic. It gives you a really unique style, especially if you like something that's a little more bold, where you do have this big shield design, but also a full frame around it. So if there's anything about you that doesn't like anything semi-rimless, then this is an amazing frame. This is available in prescription despite that shield design, which is inherently RX not friendly, but it is available with their prescription sport shield implant. You definitely should be aware of that if you're interested in getting these in prescription because it totally changes the aesthetic. Functionally, it's fantastic. It works really, really well, but you kind of lose that seamless lens design and also unfortunately not available in prism technology in prescription. So this shield design is gonna give you maximum coverage, really a ton of coverage, a ton of protection, and everywhere you look, you're going to have that prism technology if you get them in prism, obviously. And it has vents in it to help minimize fogging. You have unobtainium in the nose pad. Again, a lot of unobtainium here, as well as a little bit on the ends of the temple, really just enough to make contact with the top of your ears. You do also have adjustability in the temples. You can extend or pull back the temples for the best helmet compatibility possible. It is also a very low profile temple where it makes contact with the ears. It is a solid design for cycling. And with an SFW of 134 millimeters, this lands you at a men's medium or a women's large. And last but not least, we have the Radar EV Path. What does EV stand for? It stands for Extended View. The Path clarifier stands for its lens shape, which is the most popular lens shape, kind of similar to the Flak XL. Uh, you get a little bit more of this curve, what I call cheek form, where it curves up and around the cheek, but you got a lot of lens depth, especially in the nasal area. It's a really good shield design. It is a semi-rimless design, so it is going to be a little less bulky aesthetically, cosmetically, but also physically. It is a bit lighter when you compare it to the Jawbreaker. A really solid frame. If you're really looking for just the most classic cycling design, you cannot go wrong with the Radar EV Pass. There is venting in this lens to minimize fogging. Also that semi-rimless aesthetic encourages airflow and pushes moisture down and away to keep it from fogging up. This is also available in prescription, just like the Jawbreaker, but again, you're going to have that embedded shield lens. So make sure that you're aware of that if you're interested in this in prescription. And again, unfortunately, not available in the Prism Tech in prescription. The unobtainium on this frame is everywhere. It is fully wrapped temple with unobtainium. You have that saddle style, very soft, very grippy nose pad there. And so it's definitely gonna stay on your face. It really is one frame 
that you put on and you can hardly see, if at all, any frame or lens around it. You're just looking through that amazing lens. The SFW on this guy is 140 millimeters, which lands you at a men's large or a women's extra large. So that wraps it up for our top picks of Oakley sunglasses for cycling. I hope this video was exactly what you were looking for. We have more, by the way. Consider SportRx your online source for anything eyewear related. We have other Oakley sport roundups. We have best of guides as well as lens guides. When you subscribe, you will be the first to know anytime we drop new content. And by the way, if you are ready to order, do not forget about that See Better guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And if you were looking for the most peace of mind, don't forget about us opticians because we'd love to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, please throw us a like because that helps us out quite a bit. You can find relevant videos over here. And also we have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check us out there too because I think you would like it. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend it. You can find us at SportRx. Mm -hmm.